Previously on Master Chef, the best home cooks in America. All of you, welcome. Took their. This is loud as fuck, is it not? Place in the Master Chef kitchen. It's time for the world's biggest. This is better. Competition to begin. The first elimination test served up a big surprise. Two of you will be leaving the Master Chef kitchen. Some slipped into a downward spiral. Oh, it's disintegrating. You've just sort of crashed to the bottom. In the end. Rihanna and Matteo became the first casualties of the kitchen. Tonight. Are you ready for the ride of your lives? It's the Mena? first team challenge of the season. Hurry up! The guests are here! Let's go! Not good for me now. We're good now, then. To Knott's Berry Farm, I see these huge roller coasters. I see the Knott's Berry Farm screamer ride coming down. Well, it's it flags good to be here, you know? It's that adrenaline pumping happiness. We can go watch ones later. Walking into that theme park, this is like a dream come true. Oh, Knott's! I work at a theme park, so I'm really excited that this is our first team challenge. It went at two years in a row for uh, Halloween. I real streams. Line up, please, guys. Perfect. Welcome to Knott's Berry Farm, America's first ever theme park. <laughs> right, this is your very first team challenge. Team challenges are the best, so hopefully this is good. Every day, thousands and thousands of visitors come to this amusement park. Today, you will be feeding them. <laughs> Right. All. All, 24 all months. of the people coming through these gates today will be fed by you. Wow. Nice. Hey. No shots at all. 50 people at one time. This is going to be insane. On the count of three, you're going to split up into your own teams of 10. One, two, three. So they'll just say, go, pick your own teams. And most of the girls run to Dan. I'm like, really? You run to the model boy? Blue team. A lot of girl power over Woo! here. OK, you picked your teams, but there's one thing missing. Your team captains. The person that will captain the red team Christina, Graham, and I have picked this individual because they work with many people and they know how to assess an individual's skills. Kerry. Thank you, Chef. Kerry, who? Working in HR, I have to assess talent, strength, Wait, who? at all times, so I'm confident that I'm going to lead us to victory. What's the size of the team that you've this uh, before? My score is over 200 strong. 200 strong, and there's 10 of you here. Think about the math. Absolutely. I don't know if Kerry has enough experience to get the job done. I mean, he's an HR manager. We'll see how that translates in the kitchen. Blue team, you have a strong asset. We think that the Mike blue team captain it. should be... Sorry. Dara. This is my element. It's a place that I really enjoy. So whatever challenge is about to come, I am ready for it, and I can't wait. How long have you been working at a theme park? Almost 10 years. <laughs> you should be setting your team up for success. Dara's experience can be somewhat of a benefit, but we have a lot of strong... We, be, we barely seen our her, team. too. So for her to tell us what to do, I think it's going to be hard for her. For this challenge, we picked two of the country's favorite amusement park concession foods. The first item, a delicious burger. And that's going to be served with a side of onion rings and coleslaw. The other option for your guests today, something I love, fish and chips. Fish and chips. Guys, guys what, is the, what is the base of fish and chips? Food, and what's better than an all-American hamburger? We can't go wrong. Listen carefully. You need to keep the thousands of people who come through these gates extremely happy because uh, they are your judges. The team the cod the votes and fries. will win the challenge and be safe from elimination. Okay. The losers will, of course, face their first ever dreaded pressure test back in the MasterChef kitchen. You guys will have 90 minutes to prep 
Make your dishes yeah, I, I made it, delicious. I made the mic a bit, but not. The mic is going out. Time you, you happy now? Starts now. Both teams must quickly develop a strategy to serve delicious fish and chips and burgers to more than 500 amusement park visitors. All right, who has experience on the grill? I need to know that right first. Here, who has right grill here. experience? So I've got one, I've got two, I've got three. Grill. They better know. All right, so we're going to go with a classic burger, and we're going to focus on the sauces that we're going to put on the burger. I'm big on sauce. OK, I do a right. sriracha honey sauce. We're going to do a raisin sauce. Yes. We could do a barbecue sauce for it. Beer batter barbecue. All right, barbecue. What do you got, Steven? I got Cajun fish and chips. Cajun fish, we're going with that. As team captain, I'll only put everybody where their strengths will allow them there's to shine. Been a lot so of Cajun I'm this very confident it. that we're going to take on the I think we've had Cajun at least twice per With episode. With plan in place, the red team begins preparing their ambitious menu. He did good though, so who cares? Meanwhile, over on the blue New team, meta? Captain Dara is still gathering ideas. Really quick with our um, fish and chips. What about like tartar sauce? Uh, tartar sauce. Yeah, tartar sauce. Yeah, tartar sauce. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. that? Okay. Who can make a batter? Yeah, batter. For our bakers batter. here? You want to make a batter? Okay, perfect. And who feels great with the fryers? Yes. I'm good with the fries. I'm questioning Dara's decisions. She's asking who wants to do what. And that's not what you do as a team captain, because now everyone's manning your ship. OK, seriously, guys, one of the things that is most important is your personality. Yeah. People love when you smile. A theme park is a place for entertainment. So I know even if the food isn't really that great, people will still be excited about the smile that you put on your face. Okay, so I feel like all my fries, tell me if you need help. or like fries that, that they haven't like perfected Without for a, a long doubt, time. This is the scariest challenge that we've ever done. We've or just bad, they're just the terrible. Army, cetera, Most of the time. This is the masses. How do you prepare for the battle of serving this many people? Really good question. Yeah. Pure organization. What's going to have to happen today? It's, it's really hard to make a good fry if you don't do the, team behind them a crazy amount. Because well. they can't afford for their lines to stop and for guests today not picking up food. If people wait more than 10 seconds, they lose a vote. Ready? Can I some real quick? One salt. Things are going well, but making three sauces to try to feed 500 people is very difficult. As captain, the very first team challenge, stakes are high. I'm here to show the judges that I can make awesome flavors and impress them. We're looking good. Oh, we good, team? Oh, we good. Out of the gate, Dara's running around, being smiley on the outside. So you guys are doing awesome. Teamwork. But she hasn't organized anything. She hasn't cooked anything. This is too many burgers to do by myself. Derek, I know you're working hard. Thank you so much. Katrinka, no, double up on that batter. We're doing the same batter for fish and onion rings. I'm trying my best is to communicate it? with Katrina because she's moving in slow motion. Put a lot in there. Stop, stop. OK, can stop. you? Stop, stop. When you're one person on an assembly line making the batter for everything, honey, Welcome you've got to, to do this Lady fast. Smile. This batter. guy. I want Tell to me I got monkey's it. food for even the You can't go faster than that, son. Let's go. Red team, carry two seconds. Love Tell me the menu. Bro. We have a classic Red burger with their burger. choice of three sauces. Yeah, he's three right. Sauces. Yes, sir. On one burger? No, your choice of. You putting the sauce on the burger or in a little cup? We're going to put them on a cup and let people choose. OK, wow. Well, so that's going to back up your team. Red team, forget the silly idea with three sauces. Do one stunning sauce and stop wasting time and start getting your head in the game about the volume. It's really urgent Smart. that you understand that. Yes, Let's go, guys. Come on. What is the final decision on the sauce? We're going to combine the lime sriracha and ketchup. As the red team scrambles to streamline their menu, the blue team is struggling to keep an efficient pace in the kitchen. All right, Dara, just under 10 minutes to go, yes? Yes, Chef. Claudia, how many burgers have you got made? 45. 45. 45. Who's on the fish? I am. How many portions you got cooked, Katrina? None. None. None? Hey, blue team! Blue team! Yeah. Yeah. There's no fish cooked! We've got hundreds and hundreds of guests coming. I'm in charge of the batter for the onion rings and the fish. But I don't have enough time to do the fish. Are That's you OK? It. Fine. Dude, you're the, oh, are man. you kidding me? Are you OK, Katrina? Yeah. Dara, look at me. Yes, sir. What? Just the chase. I go straight to a pressure test. This is insane. No fish cooked. Wait, all I should do is batter? My bald dad's head. In this titanic team she's, challenge, she's our home cooks need to make burgers and fish and chips for hundreds of hungry Knott's Berry Farm patrons. Hey, blue team, there's no fish cooked, and we're opening in five minutes. 
oh my gosh, is this really happening right now? Katrina has no fish in the fryer and Dara is really not doing anything. So I drop everything I'm doing and run to the back of that station. My MO is to get that fish in that fryer and get it cooking now. Guys, you have hundreds of people coming in in 60 seconds. Let's go. We need tomatoes, we need lettuce, we need whatever your sauce is on this thing. Let's go. Only hundreds? For today, the red team is offering an all-beef burger with panko-crusted onion rings, lime sriracha ketchup, and apple coleslaw, and lime sriracha ketchup fish and chips. How's my fish? Fish up! Woo! Okay, tartar sauce, please! The Thank blue you. team is serving a cheeseburger with beer-battered onion rings, chipotle mayonnaise, and purple cabbage coleslaw and beer battered fish and chips. Wait, that looks really the good. The winner of today's challenge will be determined by all of the Wait, guests. Wait, that looks will select absolutely either crazy. A red and blue team burger or a red and blue team fish and chips. The guests will vote for the team whose dish they enjoyed the most. Here we go. Looks dank. We are oh, not over. really. It looked wicked. Here are our guests. Let's go. The fish, the fish, the fish looks a little bit sad, but hey, it is what it is. Here. The guests are here. Seriously. I got the slaw. I got the slaw. I got the here. Blue team, if these people have to wait more than 10 seconds, they leave without fish or burgers. Fish and chips is the best. As service first starts, we're getting hit by a Mack truck. Hamburger. I need a hamburger right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, play it. The line is longer than any line I've seen in life. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. Enjoy. We need more people up front. I jump in to make an assembly line of sorts so we can kind of get ahead of the game. More tomatoes. Burger right here. Enjoy. I got the burger chili. We have to continue to keep pushing. Yeah, yeah you guys said this is a big line, but yeah, let's be honest. The, the lines for the rides are probably three times, yeah. three times longer. Thank you. That's how it is. We're having a blast here, aren't we? Bottom. Burger. Burger. Top. Me and Derek set up a system, and we start pumping out food. Burger for my This friend. is the shortest line of the day. God bless Claudia. She's cranking out fish. Derek has burgers in one spot. Bring me sliced tomatoes, please. We have communication front to back. We need more fries. Everyone is working their butts off. Here you go. And we're being successful. Fish. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Over on the red team, Captain Carey is Looks struggling good. to find balance between his cooking and leadership responsibilities. Behind, behind, I got more buns. Coming. I don't have any favorite characters right now. So far. Another hamburger. Any onion rings? We have none. You have none? Kerry, where's the onion rings? Onion rings are not done, chef. They're not done? No, chef. Oh, come on. Who's supposed to be on the onion rings? Kerry is supposed to be on the onion rings. As team captain, I was running around like a crazy person, and I forgot the onion rings. Kerry, I've got no onion rings, and you're losing customers. They're moving on. I don't want to step on Kerry's toes, hey, but forgot? as long as I'm on this team, we're not missing any votes because an empty plate is a no vote. These were good hamburgers. I'm so sorry we weren't there for you. Watch out, watch out. I got it. Get over there. I got it. If we don't get this done, we can be facing the pressure test. Yeah! Here we go. In the amusement park, guests are voting for their favorite dish by ringing the bell of the high striker that matches the color of the team okay, whose dude. food they prefer. I like the blue team's fish and chips more That's because fun. I got a nice big piece of fish. I'm a sucker for beer batter. I really liked it. You got fish? I got fish. I like the red team. It has more flavor. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Awesome. I like the blue team's burger better because it did have cheese. I like the blue team burger better. I did not get any of the red team burger. The drummer's gonna pop, it's gonna pop an though. Back in the kitchen, the blue team continues its service with a smile. Here you are, my dear. Thank you very much. Everyone's on a roll. Everyone's doing what they need to do. Everyone is busy. There's no one just standing there doing nothing. We're working. We're cranking it out. Hi, little guy. Are you in the mood for some fish today? Can I have some fish? Stop. 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 It's raw. It's fucking raw. The fish is raw. I knew it. It's raw. fucking raw. Oh. It's always raw, though, Claudia. dude. She's in the back. Claudia! Yes! Stop! Blue team! Come here! Hurry up! My worst nightmare coming into MasterChef was hearing the words, it's raw. That's not undercooked. That is ice cold and raw. <laughs> Get your <laughs> together. Yes, chef. Because right now, this is dangerous. <laughs> Under no circumstance would I ever eat that myself. Nonetheless, want that for someone else to get sick off of, possibly. This is something that has to be fixed he right it. now, or we're going into that pressure test. Hey, Blue Team, I promise you now, I'll close this down. One more raw fish. 
You should get you should get huge penalties for serving raw food. That's that's a health hazard, yo. Blue team, I promise you now, I'll close this down. One more raw fish. Katrina. Yes. The batter is too thick. Nothing's cooking in it. Why? Because all this flour's gone in there. It's just like a big cement mixer <laughs> at the bottom. I'll make a fresh one. With the fish fillets being dredged in flour and dipping them into that batter, it was only adding more and more flour, making that batter more and more dense. We need two fish. One minute. I'm so sorry. We don't have any fish. Those are all boats that we are now letting go because we can't get our together long enough to put food on people's plates. I am in complete panic at this point. While the blue oh, team was struggles to keep up with the demand on... Was that shrouding? I am in complete panic at this point. While the blue oh. team struggles to keep up with the demand on fish and chips and stop forfeiting valuable votes... Sorry. <laughs> Close and enough. Boy. The red team has rebounded nicely from their onion ring fiasco and are fast gaining momentum. Here you go. Salt, salt me over here. Bring on now, baby. Charlie and Nick back here Thanks, are just crushing it. Nick is the savior for us right now. He's mixing batter with his hands. He's getting his clothes dirty because we have to have onion rings to have complete plates. Those are some oh, big ass baby. onions. Holy. Holy. Voting gathers pace and the guests continue to taste and critique their dishes. Unfortunately, I didn't get any of the blue team's fish and chips, so I have to go with the red. Where is my fish? Three fish up! There's an onion like loops. Blue burger because the red one was kind of salty. You got nothing from the red team, and you clearly got nothing from the blue team. Wow. So all over the place, Thank you guys. Classic one one. Right, red team, your last five customers. Make sure it's your best. Enjoy. Thank you. Enjoy. Last five are coming in right now, guys. You need these boats. Fish and chips. Right there. Here you go. What did you have? I had the fish and chips. The red one, they didn't put enough seasoning, but the blue one I thought was perfectly seasoned and it just was so delicious. You are the very Them. last. Good sure. job. We did it! That was the biggest dinner I've ever made! Yeah. Woo. There you that. are, my dear. Extra special just for you. That's it, guys. That is right. it. Woo. Yeah, that, that, that felt scripted a little bit. <sighs> Relief. You guys were the best team. You worked your butt off. Today was like riding the teacups. You keep whirling and whirling, and you feel like you're going to vomit, but it never happens, and you leave kind of feeling nauseated and excited at the same time. Drummer MVP. And I'm hoping that the guests that were able to get food from us will vote for the blue team and that they liked what we put out there. Keep our heads up. Keep our heads up. With service finally complete, the last two votes are being cast to determine today's winners and losers. Surely. Red wins. Red team, blue team. Today, we asked all of you to cook for the hundreds and hundreds of amazing guests that came to Knott's Bray Farm to enjoy some good food. Let's be honest, it was a truly roller coaster experience, right? But Red wins by long shot. be one winning team. Red. And the results are on their way. What is that? Oh, please. Graham walks in as the marshal of the band, and I'm like, oh my god, he's just oh, the god. cutest thing ever. This amazing band takes me back to my high school days when I was in color guard, and I'm just so excited and thinking to myself, please, God, tell me that my team pulled through and that the red team failed at some point. Thank you, Graham. Amazing. Red. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. The results are in. Drum roll, please. Wow. One team received 59% of your votes, and the other team, 41% of your votes. Where the you winning team for today's challenge, congratulations. Red. Red. Red yeah. yeah. Guys, it was obvious. Well done. Um.
I'm so happy because that was one of the most difficult things that I've ever done, but felt like we went through a war. And I'm so glad we don't have to go into a Chad, pressure they test. Have, they have a glasses Reggie, guy. You're going to celebrate with your guests. Off the go. Start clearing up the kitchens, please. Thank you. The biggest is she's throwing it. me that I let my team down because it should have been easier in my element. Let's scrape grill. Look at this. I'm pretty devastated that my teammates and I have to go into a pressure test, especially because that means someone's going home. We had a leader, yeah. and we didn't come up with the right plan. I'm... Um, I'm trying to turn the lights off, but I'm scared it's gonna shut down the whole the whole facility. There's there's buttons over there. Go on down, please. Line up. Thank you. Going into this first pressure test, you don't want to be the weakest person. Tommy overcomplicates things. I've just seen Dara under pressure, so bring on the pressure test. Yesterday, we all went to an amusement park. Okay, so okay, it okay. Should have been. Okay, guys. The there's four buttons. There's on, and then up, then down, then off. You see if I click off, I'm gonna, the lights are gonna go down? Guys, it's a pipe in the wall. It, it, it scares me. It, I want to turn the lights off. Chat, if the stream goes down, that is what it is. Did it work? The ride of your lives. Red team, you had the most. X, can you recap while your stream is not up today? Ten home cooks are all safe up on the balcony. Congratulations. <laughs> Unfortunately, blue team, your day at the amusement park really was a roller coaster ride. Dara, I was in shock yesterday. I've never seen a team in such disarray. What did you see? I feel like we started off really, really strong because we have strong, amazing chefs here. They all listened and I delegated. Dan was in charge of our chips. He was very quick with what he was doing. Olivia did, I thought, great with the slaw. She had me taste it and she fixed it when it needed We're to be We're here fixed. because you lost. Yeah. So instead of telling us what your team did great, it's time to really face the exactly. fact that you guys are down here facing a pressure test because you lost. OK. Sorry. What in the hell happened there yesterday? Communication is key, and that was one of our big faltering errors. The more I tried to communicate with Katrina, I was met with total dissatisfaction and disdain. Tommy kept talking to me about what am I doing? What am I doing? Like it was an ongoing. It's question. her fault. And he didn't just do say it. Just blame her. You upset? Yes. Yeah. Not as upset as the customers were yesterday. Correct. Blue team. It's time to face your very first pressure test. There are 10 of you standing in front of us, but only just five will cook. Five of you I knew are going to have to face this pressure test. This season, they're the focusing content more targeted. On which five compete and which five head up to the balcony is. And if you watch, I just your team guessed it. Captain Dara. First person, Dara, that you were saving. The first person chef did a lot of things that I asked them to do, and they were strong in them. And I also know the importance at a theme park of entertainment. And so to have that happy face, kids will see that too. So who are you choosing? Dan. Elsa. Thank what? You, Dara. You're saving who? Elsa because she had a happy face. Who, who is she Elsa? For she was there for them. But okay. Elsa, please head to the balcony. Wow. Amazing. No, Dara, not, not only has they, they, they never showed her face, we've never seen her or t heard her talk. She's Four more people on your team. Complete so DLC. I think Claudia should be safe. Thank you. Third choice, Dara. Don't say Katrina. Sarah. Sarah, dismal performance. Head upstairs. Thank you. And Dan. I'm mad. Dara is saving her friends instead of the people who really worked hard. And where I'm from, you don't do that. You dropped you the fish. Left. This person eventually helped with our assembly line. Dan, I think Dan Yep, Dan. Dan. Saved. Yep. Go ahead and head upstairs. Thanks, Chef. Final choice. Now, in this final choice, you can choose yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Captain, I need drummer. 
Derek. Yeah, that no, she, nope, nope. She, she's going up. She's, she's saving herself. Duh. I need to know the final person that you're saving in this final choice. She's not a captain. She's a sailor, dude. Choose yourself. Captain, I need an answer. Ethel, I'm not going to take it. I deserve to be down here. If anything, I think Derek should take it. Yeah, agreed. I respect your honesty. Young agreed. Man, you went to hell and back yesterday. Off you go. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Karma is beautiful. I mean, Dara was a terrible leader. The only thing she did right is keeping herself in the pressure test. Oh, she didn't choose him because she's you mad. Be making one of my favorite things to make. Uh, the I'm a smell. Donut. Of cinnamon roll. Oh, brioche. <laughs> Rich. Perfectly cooked. Oh my tasty, god. Gooey frosting. A classic American breakfast treat. Baking is not my forte. I don't even eat cinnamon rolls. Obviously, chat, chat, Katrina knows more chat. about pies. The best the best cinnamon rolls are at? Go, go, go. IKEA. Cakes, cookies, don't talk donuts, to me. and cinnamon rolls than I do, so I've got to bring it. It's time to head to your stations. Let's go. IKEA has the best of cinnamon rolls out there for 100%. In front of you, you all have everything that you need yeah, to best, make best. 12 delicious cinnamon rolls. You also have access to a limited pantry mm -hmm. of ingredients that can help your cinnamon rolls shine and stand out. You have 45 minutes to prepare and bake us 12 incredible cinnamon rolls. Your 45 minutes starts... I'm not, I'm not showing you. Now. Go ahead, go. Okay. Right, have we got the right five down here? I mean, Dara clearly picked some weird people. I thought Katrina and Derek would have been the first two to send yes. us there. There's no reason Katrina should be down yep. here. She's really in an emotional state right now. I was impressed that Heffel <laughs> didn't take the pass. Admirable. I respect that. It's exactly the kind of thing you'd want to see in our own brigade. You don't take so easy out ever. That's not how you get through life. So, so I'm down here, and I'm making a chai latte cinnamon, cinnamon bun. This is... My husband's favorite thing, I make it for him almost every weekend. I'm gonna have the best cinnamon rolls there are. Uh, Christina, cinnamon rolls, how hard are they? The first 10 minutes, you have to have the dough made. It's all about rolling it out into an even yes. thickness. You have to have the right balance of that cinnamon sugar mm -hmm. goo in the center. Those buns should go in the oven 15 minutes sure. in, because they're gonna take about yeah, 25 exactly. minutes to bake. Six. I think I'm gonna make a cinnamon roll with some sort of alcohol in the raisins and orange. At least one person is going home and it's not going to be me. Sure. 37 minutes to go. Uh, what I hate hey, is when the, the, the hey, cinnamon is grainy. Down here. I am. I thought I worked my butt off yesterday. That's okay. I'm gonna rock it. Tell me about your cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna make a rosemary and raisin cinnamon roll and some nice icing. Do you make cinnamon rolls at home back in Wisconsin? What do you mean, what? No, I don't. But I know what flavors go good together and hopefully they'll turn out. You stay strong. I will. I'll work my ass. Raisins? 15 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go. For you, the last 30 minutes of this competition? No, I'm not done. I'm gonna whoop some serious ass. I'm yeah. from Chicago. Why? A matcha green tea and pistachio cinnamon roll. Wow. Who do you want to leave the competition? The bitch who tried to throw me under the bus. <laughs> Katrina. I'm just telling the truth. Tommy's going home because all he is is talk. I shall show her a lesson. If you don't get in the oven in the next five minutes, the, you will be going home. He, he said it. Chef. Good luck. Damn, okay. Usually, they don't say Just the B1 until the end game. To go. Remember, those cinnamon rolls need to be in the oven any minute now. Dara, tell me about your cinnamon roll right now. Are you going to do something to stand out of the pack? Yeah. So we got some anise, cloves, uh -huh. some raisins, and uh, possibly some walnuts for the top. I'm really, really nervous. How much time do you have to get, to get these in? I mean, they're getting theirs rolled. She's got her liquid I'm right ready. right here, chef. I'm right. right here. I just need to roll this out. Thank you very much. You got this, Katrina. Yeah! Good job, I've never seen a pressure test so intense as this. God, help me. 
Dar has her cinnamon rolls up. Yeah. Tommy yeah. still hasn't even Tommy rolled, hasn't rolled, rolled it. Stella. You have got to get your cinnamon rolls Wait, in the Wait, that looks crunchy. Dar. All right, yeah. Yeah. Dar is Tommy just on the other now. Those rolls are too big. They're not going to be. Come on, Tommy, get it in. Tommy is still Dude, not in the oven. That looks so and crunchy. It's 21 minutes to go. Like pistachio, yeah, I get it, but look at it. I am absolutely petrified. No shit. I need at least 25 minutes for these cinnamon rolls to bake, and I'm late. They have got to go in the oven. I'm Dude, getting that's... them in the pan. They'll be in the oven in 30 seconds. Yep. Dude, that's a whole lawn. That box that the cinnamon rolls are supposed to go in, that's my casket. I'm a goner. I can't watch that. Oh my god. Yeah, guys, I think I think it's already out there. Tommy. Tommy, your cinnamon rolls have got to go in the oven. I'm getting wait, them in the pan. Wait, wait, what's going on with the audio? Are you guys hearing this? Be in the oven in 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. my goodness. I know that I've got to survive this pressure test, but I am stressed for time. You gotta get it in the oven. So I quickly Please roll those things out me. and throw those in the oven. Good job, Tommy. And then I just cross my fingers it's, it's, and... It's not the computer, it's the video. My fear is that the rolls are, I mean, to Too bake big. a roll the size at this point. But if they cook in time, they're going to look stunning, right? Yeah. 30 minutes gone, 15 minutes to go. Don't open it. Wow. Bake for me. Yeah, it's so the video, right? Cinnamon rolls are in the oven. What do you do in this time? You've got 15 minutes to focus on the topping. Maybe a reduction of fruit juice, caramelized and stuff. Let's like listen to the video. Yep, it's, it's, it's the video. It's a really extraordinary. Yeah, super fine chop of rosemary or thyme. Something that's not going to disintegrate with heat, something that will hold in cream structure. Cheese, I think cream cheese, mascarpone. You don't need a lot of that milk to make it a glaze. Good job, Hannah. Good job, Papa. Oh, Hulu's also bugged, apparently. Two minutes, guys. Come on. Get your rolls out of the oven and in the box. Oh, Tommy's out. Let's go, guys. Get it out. It's fine. 60 seconds to go. Wait, where's the frost thing? Oh, wow. Tommy, Tommy, get him in. Olivia, put the glaze on. Make it nice, guys. The box is closed in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. What? What the fuck? Whoa, what? That's what I call a pressure test. All of you, well done. It's time to taste your cinnamon rolls. Let's start off with your team captain, Dara. Let's go. Okay. The Ubo, the Oompa Loompa guy is trolling. Okay, Dara. The proof is in the taste, right? Yes, chef. This guy was in the box. Is that coconut flakes? I prepared some anise-flavored cinnamon rolls with lemon zest, clove, and cinnamon icing. Oh, Dara. Even on top of it's raw. Move. There's a touch here. That's disgusting. It's salvageable. Damn. Damn. The coconuts have got the aftertaste. The coconut doesn't work. You've overcomplicated something simple. What and a shame. Unfortunately, you've got one foot outside the door. What a shame. Cinnamon rolls are one of the most exciting baked goods to enjoy. These are not that exciting at this right. value. <laughs> Binita. The nutmeg anise is almost becoming Master overbearing. Chef I know that Master you're not proud of what's gym. in the box. I'm not proud. If you can't execute, Binit. you're never going to make it. Right, next box of cinnamon buns would like to taste. Um, Tell me. Ethel. Tommy looks confident. Oh, put my Indian background in these cinnamon rolls. The flavors, the spices, that's all me. Hopefully I didn't go too far off the edge and they like it. You know, this is a competition and you could have been up there safe. So you took a big gamble. Let's have a look. So what's in the center? Dude. So I made a chai latte cinnamon bun with ginger, allspice, cardamom, and an espresso icing. So they're sort of yeah, I don't know about this. Really looking, not the most attractive. No. But there's a fragrance there that smells delicious. It's probably good. It is delicious. I love chai. I lived on it in India. 
for months, 10 cups a day. <laughs> um, strong effort, cooked beautifully. I just have to commend you on your ballsiness to stay in the competition and to take the hit. You've also got the potential of becoming a unique baker. Good job. Oh, cool. Wow, okay. I like her. I think she's fine. Next up, please, Katrina. Her, though? Hi, Katrina. Hi. Tell me, what do you have in here? They are rosemary, raisin, and okay, this... cinnamon rolls. And the frosting has lemon zest. They look pretty good. And whole milk. They actually do not look bad. But yeah, they look pretty good. It's definitely a shame that you left the paper in here. Oh, paper. Yum. Looks good. It's cooked. <laughs> a huge plus so far. Thank you. got a unique flavor with the rosemary. I wouldn't have expected that. I like the fruit. It's he likes not, it. I like the sweetness. Definitely. A rosemary. Thank you. Good job. The next what? Olivia. Tom. Oh, they're keeping him for last. Hey, guys, Tommy's done. Tell me about the flavor profile. It's a sweet cinnamon bun with raisins that I hydrated in rum and orange liqueur with <laughs> toasted pecans and an orange glaze. Yours look better baked than some of the other cinnamon rolls that we've seen, but you can definitely see that you struggled rolling that dough tight enough so that you get the pinwheel of the cinnamon bun even. I think that the orange zest really helps carry that flavor and makes it memorable. Not a bad cinnamon roll. Yeah. Okay, she's not out. Right, last box of cinnamon buns we'd like to taste. Tommy. Tommy. Oh, oh. Hi, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. They call it the dreaded pressure test for a reason. Oh, no. I am the recipient of 100% full dread <laughs> from the cosmos. Right. So you're a man of fashion, a man of art, style, panache, flair. <laughs> What's inside the box? There is a green tea filling, cinnamon, allspice, pistachio This guy's content. The flavor profile is out of this world. <laughs> Let's have a look inside the box. I can't wait to see inside there. What in the <laughs> is that? Right. Show me, dude. Oh, so it's fixed. It's fixed. Fashion, a man of art, style, panache, flair. Is, 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 is it quite now? See inside there. It's fixed. This means that they filmed it pro poorly. What in the f is that? Now I've heard of a sick bag, but that's the first for me. A sick box. What have you done? I really wanted to do something with green tea. I love the color, and then the perfume of the pistachio nuts and orange zest together would create a symphony for your mouth. Okay. The first tuxedo Just... is not going to come out great. But hold it's on. always number two and number three. I'm not eating a tuxedo. I know. You're so. saying it's number two and one mouth for that, and I'm sure tuxedo. I'm going for number two. <laughs> I'm scared. Why try to get too cocky? Why try to get too smart? I always try to take something ordinary and change it into something grand. Close my eyes. Okay. There are bits in there that taste decent, but visually I'm I'm shocked. I honestly don't know how you got there. It's not my best. That should come with a a health warning. Do not open in broad daylight. Yeah. I Aww. have never on, been man. more embarrassed. And here I am in the MasterChef kitchen, looking like a straight up fool. <laughs> And Katrina is laughing at me. At me, Tommy Walt. Can all five of you home cooks please come down to the front? How is this guy so good? That was a tough pressure test. Intense, Holy. really difficult to do in 45 minutes. The person with the best cinnamon rolls tonight, Katrina, is Hethel. Hethel? <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Yes. I like her. Please head up to the balcony. I am so excited right now. 
This just shows that when you choose to do the right thing, you'll be paid back twofold. Okay. I'm here to prove that I am 100% worthy of the title of Master Chef. We think ahead though, for I'm sure. I'm not done yet. Can the following two home cooks please step forward? Oh no, Katrina. Let and Olivia. No, both saved it. Fuck. Both no. Of you made some really crucial mistakes tonight. No. There were two home cooks. More worse. Man. Bigger mistakes. Please Thank you. head up to the balcony. No, not already. There's no shot, right? <laughs> Dara and Tommy, two substandard efforts. Tommy, you know that was one of your worst performances. You got too clever, too cocky. You got carried away. No. Dara, your cinnamon rolls were Raw. undercooked, unevenly rolled, and somewhat bland and boring. You were all over the shop tonight. Yeah, just like her. She's a she, boring character. The person that is safe tonight is Tommy. Please. Tommy. Tommy. Yes, yes, yes. We good, boys. We good. Moving forward, I've got to make sure the judges can see that there is truly a cook inside of all of this. <laughs> At least now, I get to still be around Katrina. Tara. Sure. I'm sorry to say, but tonight, your journey ends in the MasterChef competition. You know, <laughs> the intent was there, the potential was there, but your timing was way off. Please place your apron on your bench and leave the Master Chef kitchen. Thank you, chefs. Thank you. Love you, love you. Yeah, he looks and talks like the, like the worst supervillain you could find. Smile, and I leave here with an even greater one for all of the lessons that I've learned, for the amazing people that I've been able to meet and can call friends and family now. All right, you're awesome. Show them what Stop you got, Mara. guys. Show them what you got. It has been such a tremendous blessing and an honor to be here. Okay. I say to all of my fellow contestants, you go in there and you show them what you've got. Good job, Dara. We'll miss you. Okay. Head high, shoulders high. Very nice. I got the studio now. Next. Next time? No, it's now.